Good morning. Uh, it is morning here in Switzerland, uh, end of March. Uh, still snow all around, but spring seems to be coming. Uh, I've got a, a lot of the theories out there on life don't make any sense to me. Uh, one of them is the viral theory. Uh, these little oogie boogie buggies that um, nobody has any defense against. Uh, I've met people with no symptoms of AIDS who went and had the AIDS test and found out they had the AIDS virus. They still don't have symptoms of AIDS, and this is years later. I've met people with all the symptoms of AIDS who don't have the virus. Uh, and I really, I don't, I'm not a big fan of the viral theory. I'm not sure that that's how things work. Uh, years ago, I was doing a class in Seattle, and it was kind of a high-pressure class, which some of them are. One of the participants had been a an aide to President Reagan, so you can imagine how much pressure those people can carry in their systems. But during the weekend, a flu went around, a viral flu, and uh, got my kids, got most of the people in the class, and it just it, it didn't feel like a flu to me. It didn't feel like a virus, if those things do exist. And I kept saying that, well, the, an odd thing happened. In every class I do, I interview the participants. And this was my favorite class. It used to be called Healing Through Humor. And when I went to interview the ex-presidential aide, the first thing that happened, people who were between he and I, we were in a hotel, we had rolly chairs, little rollers on them, they kind of moved out of the way because they were uncomfortable with the energy that was going between he and I. Now, we were friends. We liked each other. And he was quite mystified that these people would get out of the way of this energy because uh, I think politicians can withstand it or tend to ignore it, I'm not sure. But um, at any rate, about 10 minutes later, uh, two women in the class were looking around, again, missed, they were mystified, and I looked at them and I said, what's going on? And they said, well, we had this flu. Now I had the flu as well, or the symptoms. I, it was either shit, puke, or interview, so I chose to work because even though it's uncomfortable, it's, it's better than laying around sometimes. But two of the participants who had been having similar symptoms stopped and said, we're completely well, completely spontaneously well. Uh, when I got home that evening, I got to the house and all the kids were well. They had gotten well around the same time, about the same time as the interview. The virus disappeared. Again, that's why I have problems with it. Uh, AIDS is named properly, autoimmune deficiency syndrome. Um, whether it's a virus or a viroid, I don't know. Whether it's either of them, I don't know. What causes this, I don't know. But I know I've met people who have had, been diagnosed with AIDS, and are living a normal life. Uh, so, uh, it's one of the theories that mystifies me, and I just I don't believe it most of the time. I think it's bunk.